Oh, right! Exclamation, everybody! Welcome back to Slime Rancher. All right, so let's continue. <laughs> I probably should have continued first. We are back. We are back in the old slime ranching business, and uh, I want to. I, I have. I have done a little bit off camera. Mostly just keeping these guys fed. I did have a problem that I'm going to talk about in a minute here. So if I go into our little grotto area here, you see I've I've improved the area a bit, as you can see. But uh, these guys were all gone. They had all disappeared completely. Um, I have more than enough now in here. <laughs> as you can see, I've actually thrown a few away. Uh, well, I'm sorry, set them free. Um, but yeah, there was there was uh, a lot of a lot of craziness, a lot of craziness going on. So these these guys were all had all been missing. Explain this one guy happy here. There you go. And a couple of them are just stuck in a corner there. They can't get at anything. Yo. All right. So I might have to throw a few more of those away. But anyway, um, these are our phosphor tabbies. Now it dawned on me that I had two uh, two cages of these guys. I had these guys here, and then I had another one on the other side, and that was kind of overkill. So I, uh, what happened here is that as as we've seen in the past, these guys just started disappearing on their own. Just, just up and gone. Uh, I came in there after doing this this improvement here. I came in and that that whole thing was just empty. So they weren't even there. Nothing nothing going on. Nothing crazy. Just they just weren't not there anymore. Um so that said, so uh, since since that cage was empty, I figured all right, well then if that's the way it's going to be, then I'll move those guys in. Oh, these guys are not getting fruit. Oh, wow, they are they are hungry, aren't they? Uh, I should probably go do something about that. Um I figured since they aren't uh, since that cage was now empty through no fault of my own, I uh, moved the guys that were in here. Kind of sort of. I I, I I I created new ones, but I, I basically um, did the same phosphor tags. I have no fruit, don't I? I just have veggies in there. Um, I took the same phosphor tabbies that were there and I I freed them, and then I came back and just is this a fruit? That is a veggie. Where is the fruit? Is that a fruit? That is a veggie. <laughs> Everything's a veggie. I need I need fruits. I need me some fruits here. Is there? Ah, uh, here we go. This will this will do for now. Um. So I move basically essentially move them over from that one cage to the other, and. I've put new slimes in that one cage there. I've taken the hunter, plort, and the, not the phosphor, but the, the tabby, I think. So I have tabby hunters now, uh, which is a probably interesting breed to have uh, in this cage. I think that's what it is, right? Tabby hunters? No, largo hunters. Okay. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, phosphor hunters. That's what it is. Yeah. I, have a, I had a cage there that allowed phosphors to, to grow in it, so I put phosphor hunters in there. Since we didn't have that yet. Might have a lot of, maybe far too many phosphors around, but uh, you know, it's it's working, what can I say? Throw some of that in there. There we go. You guys should be a lot happier now, hopefully. Alright, and then how are these guys doing? They have a lot of fruit over here, but they don't have any left in their thing. That's... Yeah, Again, this is putting way too much fruit out for these guys, but uh, I can't make it go any slower than it's going now. The only thing I can do is put more put more slimes in there. Not that I really want to do that. Uh, then these guys should be happy for now. Yeah, I, I just refilled their thing. So, you guys are 
seem to be relatively happy here, so keep them keep them where they're at. Oh, well this guy's not so happy, so here, eat that and eat that and be merry. Same with you. There you go. Excellent. Cool. Alright, so those guys are taken care of for the most part now. Um so yeah, I have these hunters over here now. And phosphor hunters and try and keep them fed. What do they take actually? Meat and fruits. Okay. So I've been giving them meat like the other ones had. So that's good. And are all these guys like fed for most part? Oh yeah, I don't have anything in here, huh? Let's just throw these in there. For now. And these guys should be no, oh, I didn't put anything in their cage there, did I? Right, I gotta do something about that. And then these guys. Nice thing about these, these, these are pink guys, so they can take pretty much anything. So we can just grab the grab the carrots I have over here. So I got a ton of them. And use those. Hi! <laughs> Hi, uh boss the zone. Sorry, I was I had the chat over in a different on a different window and I, I didn't see you over there. Sorry. Um let's see. Okay, yeah, these guys need food. That kind of brings you up to speed with where, I, with where I'm at with these uh, way too many uh, <laughs> I, I move, moving slimes around and whatnot. Did a few more of the upgrades around the ranch. Um, nothing too crazy. Trying to get up to higher levels on that if I can. Uh, take a, okay, I think over here is the door. Yep. Over here is the door. Let's open this one up. Is this the one that leads? Yeah, I think this is the one I think leads where I think it leads. Oh, it leads to a really, really nasty area, apparently. Nasty slime area. Oh, hello here. Just the things I was looking for, some painted hands. Okay, we'll take that. Oh, these guys are, these guys are angry. Ow, ow. Ooh, that's, that's a lot of stuff. And there's lots of fire here. Lots of fire here. Uh, life get over there. See what's over there. If I can, that's a pretty long trek though, but I think we can make it over there, I think. Let's try it. Yep, okay. There is a there's slime statue over here. Oh, it's one of the it's one of the mosaic slimes. Which I don't have a mosaic slime thing on me. We have more of these. Uh, and something down here. Oh, this is the this is the fountain. Okay. This is the fountain with the ancient water in it, and we have to unlock that by getting a bunch of these painted slime or mosaic slime plorts. And we got another thing over there to tier three uh, sphere thingy to open. Okay. So with that said. Uh, is there anything else up on this area? No, just a couple of these guys. Okay. Which I assume this bears fruit to something rather good up here because it's so isolated from everything else. That's my theory anyway. Let's see if that turns out to be true. So I do have a bunch of mosaic 
slime plorts so that I can just go back to the go back to the ranch and get um, now that I've got this door open of course now it's back to I just took all that time just to get back over here again now I gotta get back to it again maybe I should see about getting a teleporter set up Okay, we're not quite supposed to be there like that. All right, so what? This guy takes veggies, okay, and then he gives me access to that other area there. All right, so he takes he takes veggies, and I assume he'll give me like another key or something. Maybe I don't think he's sitting on top of a teleporter. Maybe he is, but I I think he's probably more of a key guy. This thing. Oh, it's another. Okay, so I have to put a a plort in there. I bet that hole is to a. You know, there's another plort you gotta put down there. All right, so there's there's like a fountain around here somewhere. That's what that's that's what that's all about. Okay. Okay. And I guess there's something up in here. Is this the fountain? Ah, uh, this is the fountain. Okay. And then those things down below are where we gotta enable it with. Got it. Right, what I need to do now though is find my way back home again. If I can. I am I have traveled much further into this place than I had before. Also I should probably read this I guess huh? Quite a sight to gaze upon the sand sea out there, no? I've scoured every corner of the desert and everywhere I look that sand sea stretches to the horizon. Makes you wonder just where the heck on the far, far range you are when a slime sea is nowhere to be found. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty, pretty far out. Pretty far out. I guess we gotta get down here. Is this the, is this the door that I came through? Where does this lead to? Two doors, Beatrix. Life is filled with moments where there's two doors and you can only choose one. I came to Far Far Range because the search for the unknown is in my bones, and in time, even a thousand light years away from Earth wasn't enough. So I searched for secrets within the ancient ruins that led me here. This place was my ticket to go even further. Oh boy. Do I want to actually go through here? I don't know that I really want to go through here. Ruins are actually great engines that allow you to travel through space and maybe even time. Through years of study, I knew how to activate them, and I alone will be the first to cross over into the true beyond. It was the ultimate adventure. And then there's that other door. I met Theora and fell in love. What are the chances of that? She had a place in my heart and the universe in the other. Two doors. Both lead to the same place, though, right? Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, they both lead to the same, same destination here. So what is this? I chose my door. I went back to the ranch and promptly sold it. I packed my things and took a tour of the beautiful and one of this beautiful land one last time, leaving these little notes for you. It was time I said goodbye to the life I had. My hands and feet tingled as I approached the monolithic warp terminal. What lay ahead of me was an adventure like anything I'd never seen known in my life. Strapped on the platform and all that stuff. So is this is this end game stuff? I feel like I shouldn't do end game stuff yet. And I don't want the game to end all of a sudden on me. But I didn't go. I had packed for a new adventure. It wasn't going to be on be beyond space and time. So I said a little goodbye to what could have been and headed to Theora's ranch. Looking forward to hearing the sound of those wind chimes. Never been loved before, never known anything like it. It's time I got to knowing what all the fuss is about. So good luck to you, Beatrix. Always remember to use your head, but uh, let your heart do the thinking every now and then. It might surprise you. Oh, is that really just the end of the game? It's like, psych! <laughs> I traveled to a crazy place, psych! <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. All right. Well, I, hey, you know what? That's fine. That's that's just cool and everything. 
I didn't think they were going to just like end it on you because you could just stumble onto this like I did and have no context. Also, is that a... Yeah, it's just a pink slime, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's like... Is that a... Looks like a weird slime there. Uh, what he could have done though is give me a freaking teleporter. That would have been... That would have been swell of him to do that. Instead, he's left me out here with uh, no clues of where I need to go to get back home again. Also, can I? I can't grab these, can I? Yeah, I'm all full up right now. But I do want to grab one of those. Whoa! Okay, that's not the way to go. All right, <laughs> give me. Give me a little minor heart attack there while you're at it. Uh, go, and then throw these in here. Whoops. Whoops, I just pulled them back out again. I was just trying to get the ones that I dropped on the floor there. Is that guy been fed yet? I don't think so. Let's get these in here. There we go. Alright. And then over here, we will put up a corral and get all the trimmings. Music box, air nets, uh, port collector, auto feeder. And we'll throw our tangle slime in here. There we go. And then I just have to give them something some other trait. I think I'll give them the... We have the rainbow... I also need these uh, these rainbow ports, a bunch of these. So I might... Or mosaic, I mean. So I might give them the mosaic uh, trait, as it were. So we'll go... Give these guys a little... Something to deal with. There we go. We got everybody there. Sweet. And let's uh, just down to the lowest. And what do they need? Veggies and meat. Okay. So I've got some more veggies for them, I believe. If not, I will grab some really quick. So not any there. Yeah, here we go. Here's some, some more veggies. Also, I'll have those uh, silver silver majiggers at some point. So probably they, they actually are probably already grown. So, and I want to keep a few of these mosaic ones around. Just a few. So, heartbeats to there. Alright, they take veggie. Veggie and meat. Yep. Exactly what they do. All right, and then these guys over here also take veggies and fruit. I need to, I need to get them some fruit because they're they're quite low. I think all my guys are probably pretty low right now. Uh, so I think I have some fruit in this thing. Actually, I have some veggies in here. There we go. That works. I get them over fed if I can. These guys have, are out of fruit, but I have some meat for them, so I'll give them. If they take meat, right? Yeah. Give them some stony hens. How with it? The heck with it, I say. The heck with it. And I gotta pick up all these things too while we're here. So. It appears to have already started to grow some fruit. That's good to see. Alright, so these guys, make sure these guys are fed. Excellent. Alright, and there's another mosaic port on the ground. And then we'll grab all this. Strange diamond. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff right there. We need that for a few things. 
really want to be able to make a person teleporter so I can get back to that get back to that other area that the new area a lot faster okay we gotta empty our pockets here all right all right now then now this and everything's good back there and i also want to grab that other that other upgrade before we forget lest we forget there's an upgrade here going lots of lots of grinding back and forth here but we're getting there should probably put a few of those mosaic ports well I can put the ones that extra ones in there I guess because I'll have I'll have a whole bunch of mosaic ports soon so let's just grab the full uh, and you know what let's grab the dervish ports out of there too since that's getting pretty high Getting pretty high on those. 48, 49, and 50. There we go. Uh, let's see if I can grab these as well. So they don't go to waste. And I'll put a few mosaic ports in here just so that I have them. There we go things and what else can I make here uh, warp tech give me something good strange diamond for a pink teleporter but I need deep brine that's I haven't found enough deep brine for that uh, and then this indigonium is gonna be the biggest problem I think silky sand uh, but I have these warp depots but I can't get anything else Besides those. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I need I guess I need to put some of those things down in different areas in order to get the indigo stuff. Certainly not getting it here. I mean I got a little bit of deep rhyme, but nothing well, of course a lot of that might come from the uh, other thing too, the the uh, those those spheres that I spheres that I find around. Um I think some of those came from there before. I will go grab this. Grab the rest of these. There we go. Very good. Very good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're we're good there. What we're probably not good in is down here. I imagine that these guys are all getting kind of low on stuff yeah they, they don't have any food there these guys are out of food as well uh, same with these guys so fruit fruit and meat uh, these guys need fruit and meat and these guys need meat and veggie and they need meat and fruit okay Fruits and veggies we need in there, basically. How are these guys doing today? Still have a lot of stuff left. Nope, they have nothing left either. Great! Great! <laughs> this is and run around like a madman trying to keep these guys trying to keep these guys uh, fed here. Not gonna be that concerned. Just grabbing something. go these guys are all do they have food still yeah they do have food okay just making sure just to making sure everything's good here all 
There we go. All right, let's go. We gotta go grab food for these guys. It should be grown by now, I would imagine. I would imagine. Yep. Yeah, here's some carrots. Good. And then over here. Oh wow, that just magically grew. Didn't even see it on the on the tree. It just bore its fruits. <laughs> Magical, uh, unseen fruits. And then this guy. Just grab a few off off the vine. Fresh, hot off the presses. There you go. All right, now that should be enough to give them a more long-term solution to their hunger problem. All right, so these guys can gra can have some of this. And I also need to go and handle some of these guys down here because I know I've been neglecting them. Yeah, these guys are all. Will they take meat and fruit? Right, I'm just gonna throw them in there. And then over here, you guys are veggies, right? And then I need to get more fruit and veggies down there for the other ones. Way too many slimes to try to manage right now. Far too many. This is basically what I do off camera. <laughs> it's like, uh, I'm just gonna play a video in the background and just grind the, the crap out of this and make sure there's, there's food and stuff so I can actually go, when I turn on record, I can actually be doing other things besides running back and forth. is good. There we go. Very good. Very good. Throw these in there. Cool. Cool. I guess I can grab a couple of these blue plorts out of here. And some water. I forgot I didn't have any water left. These guys love these guys love their uh, love their um, <laughs> little slime toy that I gave them. That's pretty funny. Uh, oh, there's one more heartbeat just lying out there. Okay, let's sell these plorts off. And this heart beats back in there. You can run forward and grab some more stuff if there is some more stuff. Head to the little grotto area and then that will be we'll be able to feed feed my slimes. It's the, it's the berry apparently. Nothing good there. Alright. Anything else in here that I've left? No, that is that is quite quite empty at this point. And these guys are meat and fruit, huh? Um, well, they've got meat in there right now. I've got plenty of meat to give them. Um, the berry I can put. In there with that, top that off a little bit. These guys, uh, give them something, but I can't do it right now. You put something in there for them. Probably dole out more of the stuff, more of the uh, um, and things. Okay, fruit and meat. So you don't take veggies; you only take fruits. I think all these guys are just fruits, right? Fruit and meat. Yeah. That's what I thought I was going to say. 
Now you're the only ones that take veggies, which here's a few more, a few more carrots to hold you off. I guess I will. Actually, you know what? There is fruit on this tree over here. Maybe, maybe I can grab some some fruit from here. Perhaps, mayhaps. There we go. Some phase lemons. Nice. Very nice. Might be a little bit early to be grabbing them off there, but that's okay. We need. We are in desperate times here. Desperate for food. Okay, so let's put the. Let's see if they will eat <laughs> phase lemons. Uh, which is a fruit, right? Yeah. I thought it would be. Alright, see if you guys like this. Alright, well they seem to like it. I'll put a couple in there and then I need to feed these guys immediately here. Alright, and then those guys also need either fruit or meat. The tree did not <laughs> did not bear as much fruit as I was hoping for. Uh, let's go let's go grab some meat for them. For the father. Oh there's a there's an ancient one in there. I should probably get rid of him. So let's first of all let's get some of these out of here. So you guys like meat, huh? Have that. And have that. There you go. Oh, the one ate it. The other one, he didn't give it to the other one. That's how hungry they are. Jeez. Alright, so I'll put the painted hens in there. These guys are... Still not quite, not quite happy about life. Um, those those guys should have enough veggies for a little bit. I'm trying to make sure I tick off all the boxes here. And these guys don't have anything in their thing, so I'll give them the, the silver ones. And also, I need to clear out their because everything everything is just overflowing it's just all crazy pants right now just overflow the world okay and these guys are also like getting up there as well on all that and I think we're good there. And then over here, meat and fruit for these guys. Are they? They have some fruit in there, but they're. Uh, I mean, some meat in there, but they're probably gonna need more. But I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to fight that battle off camera. I, I'm, it's it's an uphill. It's an uphill battle, but I'm fighting it. And I want to. Let's buy this one thing. So I got the money now. Treasure Cracker Mark II. Is now ours. I might as well buy the heart module too. Why not? Why not? Just have it be there. And then I think this next one is what? 15,000? Yep. Yep it is. And that gives us a, a slime trophy. Slime trophy one. And some more mail that I haven't read. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll sleep till morning, why not? Give a chance for all of our crops to grow and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I think that will just about do it for, for this uh, little installment here. Thanks, everyone, for dropping by and uh, saying hi. And uh, I will uh, see you next time.